Hello there, my name's uh, Scott Hewitt, and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to CHIP, or Chuck Instrument Processing. So once you've downloaded CHIP, um, the first thing to do is obviously just to start CHIP. So if you just double click on start underscore chip dot CK, it'll bring it up. Um, on my system here, it automatically brings up the mini article. You do need to use the mini article for the graphical elements. We get the messages up here from the console monitor. Everything's looking good, so I'll just clear them out so we can keep track of the chip specific ones that we'll get in a moment. So first of all, let's add let's add the shred for start chip. There we go. We got that added up there. We get this little chip meter up and a couple of messages in here. First of all, confirming that we've added all of the various parts of chip, a little bit of contact detail, and some of the details of the elements loaded up. So first of all, if I bring up the first fader, um, that's automatically set up to take the audio input, the default input. So you can see my voice now being mirrored on the meter there. Okay, so the next thing to show here is just the demo that's included. So here's the chip demo. There we go, I'll just bring that up there. So the chip demo just shows off all of the functionality currently within chip. Let's add the shred. There we go, we just added that in there. I'll just get rid of the chip demo. So what we get here is resonant filter, reverb, and a delay class. So first of all, let's get some delay. We'll have a length. And so maybe a touch longer than that. There we go. And bring up input volume. And you see this is taking bus channel zero chucking it to a delay, and then chucking it to bus channel 1. So if we bring up bus channel 1 fader, you'll see I have some signal there. Yep, this time here I'll just bring up bus channel 2 fader immediately, you'll notice there's no signal there. If I go bus channel 1 via resonant Z to bus channel 2, I can set that up. So let's get resonant frequency, set a Q value for it, and finally bring the input volume up. you see now that I've got some signal appearing there as well. So the final thing we're going to do is just put a whole load of uh, reverb onto my voice. So there we go, a bit of reverb there, let's bring up, this, uh, bring up the input volume as well. You'll notice that we're still not getting any reverb on my voice, that's because I have to lift the final fader, so I'll just do that now. There we go, there so we have the reverb on my voice. I can take the reverb off my voice if I wanted to. Have a little bit on there and maybe shift the resonant filter a little bit. Oops, I'm just maybe. There you go, okay. that's good. So, final thing, when I'm finished using the elements, I can exit them out if I wish to, so I can start exit, and the elements have disappeared and it's no longer active, so we can just clear out these various bits here. And then obviously, finally, if I wanted to get rid of chip itself, I think it's a matter of just stopping the virtual machine like so. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. You can find out more about chip at uh, chip.ablelemon.co.uk, or feel free to contact me as well. So, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed chip. Take care.